Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some more problems regarding to the RH criteria. So the problem is f of s equal to s power 5, 2 s power 4, 3 s cube, 6 s square minus 4 s minus 8. Number of roots lies on the LHS of s plane. LHS means he is asking to left hand side roots. How many left hand side roots of s plane? So before that first we will for that we will use the RH criteria. So in this RH criteria you know the format. First you should take the s power 5 and the s power 4 s cube s square s power 1 and the s power 0 right. So this is the RH criteria. Now you use the coefficient. It has the coefficient of 1, it has the coefficient of 2, it is 3, and it is the 6, it is minus 4 and it is the minus 8. Next, what about this s cube? So check it here, 2 into 3 is 6, 1 into 6 is 6. So both 6s, that's why it is 0. Next, 2 into minus 4 minus 8 minus plus 8, this is also the 0. Yeah, so we have the we have row of zero. We have one row of zero. That's why we should take the auxiliary equation. So what is the auxiliary equation here? The auxiliary equation is this is 2s power 4 and 6s square plus 8. Then differentiate the auxiliary equation. And we have 2 4 s cube plus 6 2 s plus 8. Then we have 8 s cube and 6 12 s plus 8. 12 s plus 8. Sorry, not 8. Actually, this is the minus 8. We did some mistake. Whenever we are doing the differentiating with 8, constant becomes the 0. That's why we have the 8s cube plus 12s. So by using that, we will take in place of 0, you have to take this is the 8 is the coefficient. And in place of this, we have the coefficient is the 12. Okay. Next, move on to the next column. In this, in this 8 into 6, 2 into 24. 8 into 6 is 48 minus 2 into 12 is 24 by 8. So this is 24 by 8. This is the coefficient is 3. So this is the 3. Next coefficient is directly we can take the minus 8 is a coefficient directly. So here this coefficient is the minus 8. Directly we have. And and we will move on to the next next is this is so 3 into 12 3 into 12 is 36 and 8 into 8 so just take it as the 64 by 3 so this s power 1 is the 100 by 3 next what about this we have the minus 8 here we have the minus x here. So first we have to we have to draw for the we have to go for the we have to draw for the s plane now. From that we will find out how many left hand side poles are available. Okay. So first look at here. Yeah. We have first we have only one sign change one sign change is there that is s power 1 to s power 0 it has the minus 8 so sign change is 1 and it is also below roz so below roz this is the first point so that's why we have right hand pole we have right hand side pole okay 
नेक्स्ट और एक बोलते हैं ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन सो ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन ऑर्डर इज ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन ऑर्डर इज फोर यस सो वी हैव फोर फोर इक्वेशंस एंड सो बाय दैट आई विल आई विल ड्रॉ दिस हियर देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वेरी क्लियरली so by using that yeah i will draw the s plane here yeah here i am taking the s plane so this is the s plane yeah here the first is right hand side we have only one right hand side pole that's why i will take right hand side pole is i will write somewhere i will draw somewhere here and auxiliary equation is 4 okay whenever the auxiliary equation is 4 we have symmetric poles so that's why it has a symmetric pole is this okay the remaining poles is so it is a auxiliary equation symmetric poles means 4 means we have four symmetric poles four symmetric poles and but what is the order order is order is 5 the remaining pole is somewhere here we don't know somewhere here okay so this is the for, so this is the pole location this is the pole location so first uh, first you look at the right hand side pole we have the right hand side pole that's why we have the rhs i am writing a pole here and we have four symmetric poles so it has the pole of symmetricity of this pole this pole is consisting of symmetricity and again the remaining two poles are like this because auxiliary equation is 4 and the order is here the order is 5 4 poles are completed and remaining one pole is there that pole must and should be left hand side left hand side so that's why you have to take it first you look at the right hand side poles then the symmetrical poles remaining is the lhs poles okay remaining is the left hand side poles then the problem is very very easy okay now the question is number of roots lies on the left hand side of s plane look at here this is the left hand side this is the right hand side yeah for s plane left hand side poles are the two left hand side poles are the two these are the left hand side poles okay go for the next problem here the next problem is we given a signal flow graph that is we have r of s and y of s input and output the system will be stable when k is less than minus 1 b minus 1 to k must be between minus 1 and 1 c k is between 1 and 3 d k is minus less than minus 3 so for that purpose he given the signal flow graph and we need to take the find out the characteristic equation to test test the stability so for that purpose the you know the characteristic equation in that first you will find out the del first you need to find out the transfer function yeah first we have to find out the transfer function for the transfer function we we need to find out the characteristic equation by using that so here in the transfer function generally transfer function is nothing but you know that that is output by input the formula is p1 del1 plus p2 del2 by p2 del2 by del what is this formula the formula name is masson's gain formula already we have lot of knowledge on this masson's gain formula because we did lot of problems in the in this formula so for first what is del here here what is the del value del is nothing but 1 minus sum of individual loop look at here 
so this is the one loop actually so i can write 1 by s into 3 this is the one loop and next what is another loop the i can write the, this is the another loop that is k into 1 by s into 1 this is the other loop so 1 minus this is 3 by s and this is the k by s yes okay and now the transfer function is look at the how many we have forward paths how many just write the forward path one this is the forward path one is there any forward path remaining there is no forward path and there is no forward path because direction is like this so I will write forward path equal to 1 into k into s power minus 1 into 1. So I will write this is the k by s. What about del 1? Del 1 means without touching the forward path 1. So we have the two loops. These two loops are touch the forward path 1. So that's why del 1 is directly we can write the 1. So by using this all, we will write the transfer function. The transfer function equal to y of s by r of s so this is p1 is k by s del 1 is 1 by del del means 1 minus 1 minus i can write this value 3 plus k by s so this is the value so by using this this is the k by s so for the denominator doing the lcm so s into 1 s minus 3 plus k so this is the cancel the k by s minus 3 plus k this is the characteristic equation transfer function so once again we will write here the transfer function equal the transfer function value equal to k by k by s minus 3 plus k so from this we can write the characteristic equation the characteristic equation equal we should uh, I will take this is the characteristic equation that is s minus 3 plus k is equals to 0 is equals to 0 so by using this characteristic equation we will test the stability so I will write again like this this is the 1 into s power 1 and minus this is the 3 plus k is equals to 0 this is the s power 1 is the order and s power 0 equal to 0 so by using this I can write the RH table here so the RH table maximum is s power 1 minimum is the 0 I am writing here and this is the pole 1 this is the pole 0 minus 3 plus k minus 3 plus k so here what is the question the question is system will be stable when so whenever the system is stable these coefficients are the positive 1 is already positive and minus 3 plus k is greater than 0 so from this multiplying both sides minus we have the 3 plus k and less than 0 here k is less than minus 3 k is less than minus 3 whenever k value is less than the minus 3 then the system will be stable and the system will be stable so this is the condition system will be stable okay system will become the stable so this is the answer answer d is the correct d is the correct okay so this is the model so whenever sometimes he give the sfg then you will convert into the transfer function by using the muscles gains formula from that you will find out the ce that means characteristic equation after that you will write down the rh table then 
you will check the system stability okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you